Here at Alamance Community College, we recently thanked our Foundation's champion donors, those who contributed $1,000 or higher, by inviting them to participate in a class of their choice that included a hands-on demonstration of forensic and criminal science with criminal justice instructor Tracy McCormick and Alamance County Deputy Sheriff Rachel Collins. Criminal justice was one of 29 curriculum degree programs at Alamance Community College. McCormick showed her guest how to process fingerprints from both a classroom board and a piece of glass. Um, the fingerprint powder, and then you want to make it dance. It's very easy. You just twirl it back and forth, and as you put it on the surface, you just dance it back and forth, and the powder just kind of disperses itself out. Beside each other, one. Yeah, on I top put of one. Each other. Yeah, I put one beside the other. Okay. Do it to the left. <laughs> and then lifting tape is pressed over the prints to transfer them to a card for examination. Prints can then be sent to the automated fingerprint identification service system. Within 30 to 60 seconds, a computer can determine if the individual's prints are on file anywhere in the world. Deputy Collins taught a class on bullet projection. This is going to simulate a wall that's been shot. This is what we would do if we went to a scene and we found gunshots in the wall. We could tell where the shooter was standing. Projector rods are inserted into the bullet holes. A laser is attached to the end of the rod, which projects a beam to the point from where the shooter was standing. A line is strung between the wall and the rods to determine the path the bullet traveled. After strings for all the bullets are secured, law enforcement and these participants can tell the general pattern of where the shooter or shooters were standing. This is CSI Alamance County. 